Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks very much for watching the video. Now we've been shopping. I've been to B&M. Come and have a look what I got. So I was having a little walk around, uh, as you do. And I come across these in the frozen counter. Um, are the Copeland's two sausage beans and cheese pasties. Our famous pasties frozen for you to bake at home. 320 grams. Now these are £1.50. So... I just thought they looked they look pretty, they, well they look good, I was drawn in by that picture. So um, let's have a look at the packaging. So there's some uh, nutritional information if you want to have a look at that, by all means go ahead. Um, and they are all the ingredients there, look, uh, there's a few allergens in there isn't there, we've got wheat and milk, soya, sulphite, uh, sulphur dioxide. Cool, look at all them E numbers. and uh, <laughs> Don't look too hard at them. Um, so let's have a look at the cooking instructions or heating up instructions. 200, 220 fan uh, and then 200 degrees for best results oven bake, which I'm going to do. Lovely uh, sunny day today. Got, the, um, got my girls sports day this afternoon. <laughs> there we are. I wasn't expecting anything different really. Let's have a look. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. It's just pastry in it, frozen pastry with a meat filling or a beans sausage filling with cheese. Worktop is clean. So I've got it on the little rack, on my little rack. So it's going in there, pop that down, switch it on. Always helps to switch it on first, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do it on the um, bake setting, the 180. I'll do it for I'll do it for 20 minutes, 20, 21 minutes, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so if you like this kind of thing, please give it a thumbs up. The video up, uh, hit that big thumbs up button, that'd be great. And uh, maybe consider subscribing and push the ball out. I always say that, don't I? Don't know what else to say. I mean, you don't have to, do you? It's one of those things. Leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these before. I've not seen them in B&M. Um, I don't know if they're a manager's special, but... Yeah, I'd be interested to see what they taste like. Oh, I should have put some egg wash on it, shouldn't I? I'll do that now before it gets cooking. So it's done. Let me show you. Uh, I did it in the um, oven bake setting for the required time. Uh, around 180, so a little bit less. A little bit less juice used. So I'm going to get it open now. I'm going to go live Saturday night if we're about 8 o'clock, that's the plan up to now. Please uh, please uh, call in and join us. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. So I've just chopped in it half. Look, um, I said egg wash before, I put some milk, I put some milk wash over it, not egg wash. It does look cheesy, doesn't it? Look at that. So I'm going to cut it in half again. I want, it, I want it to cool down, you see. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a look as well. We can have a look what's inside it as well. And um, we've got obviously you can see the cheese, and there's the sausage, um, and your beans as well. Look, I'll get, the, I'll get the old camera down on here, and you can have a look. Let's get a bit of better light. There we are. You got your bits of sausage. I mean, it doesn't look. I mean, cheese is lovely, isn't it? But that sausage looks a bit anemic, I'll be honest. But I haven't tasted it yet. And don't look at the ingredients. <laughs> so. It's going to be red hot, isn't it? It shouldn't be too bad. We'll have a look. We'll go. We'll see what it's like. There we are, look. So let's get into it. So I got um, some messages about the <clears throat> this. I've got a new camera, you see, and it, I got a few messages saying it's shaky. Um, I, maybe that's me. <laughs> maybe I'm shaking. I don't know. I've got the stabilizer on the camera. I hope it's not shaking now. See what it's like. I do apologise if it's making you a bit queasy. Hang on a minute. I hope it's not shaking now. Probably me moving it around. Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, it's cheesy. <clears throat> cheesy beans. Getting that flavour through with a, a, a sort of a hint of the sausage. Let's try that sausage. And it's that sort of... <clears throat> That's sort of a sausage that you get in them, you know, you, you get beans and sausages in a tin. It's that sort of sausage. Yeah. That kind of sausage. Let's get some more. Let's get some pastry. Very salty though. Oh, that is salty. Oh, I'm going to have a look and see how much salt's in these. But they are salty and that's salty for me as well. Well, the salt there is saying one gram, but that's per 100 grams. So there's, what's, there's quite a lot of salt in it anyway. It's very salty. Oh, very salty. Well, what, what we need is some brown sauce, don't we? We've got this... As a gift, this Stokes, and I tell you what, I didn't really like it at first, it was very sweet, but I tell you what, it's my favourite sauce now, absolutely love it, I'm addicted to this Stokes sauce, it's really all the ingredients are cracking, they really are, um, so that's what it needs, and it? it needs some sauce, it needs, some, it, needs, it needs, would I buy these again? I'll be honest, I wouldn't buy them again, no, um, Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, I wouldn't buy them again. They're, all, I mean, they're all right. They're all right. There's nothing, nothing special. But what do you expect? One pound fifty. What seventy-five p each? You know, it's probably similar to something you get out of Greg's, you know. If, if you go there, you'll get some, something similar like to that, won't it? It's going to be salty. I mean, salty and cheesy, yeah. That sausage is not it's not great. It's not. It's just like, yeah, very cheap sort of sausage. And who knows what's in it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy them again. Probably a, a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from me. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if the camera's shaking, I do apologise. I really do. I'll try. And, I've got the image stabiliser on. There is another extra sort of setting for stabilisation, but it doesn't zoom in. I, I can't do it. It doesn't zoom in. So, and that's annoying because when I'm reading, writing close up, I, I, don't, I don't want it to be out of focus. So it's just a learning progress. I'll, I'll, I'll play around in the settings. So take care. All the best. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you Saturday night, 8 o'clock. All the best. Take care.